News racked, news racked, news racked. We love them, but the city of Lake Elsinore is saying enough is enough. A new ordinance has been introduced regulating their placement throughout the city, prompted by this site in front of the Lake Elsinore post office. City officials claim the news racks are blocking curbside access to the post office and in the future at least four feet from the curb, and they won't be grouped in rows longer than eight feet. What do Lake Elsinore residents think about the new law? Well, here's what some of them told us. It's a problem because you can't get through them. You can't get through the, as coming off of this street here, and it's very dangerous to have them there because, for that reason, if they're going to allow parking there, the news rack should not be there. I can see where it would be a problem for some people that don't have room in the parking lot to go to. I think it would help because a lot of people, when you pull up in front of the post office, parking a lot of times is, is hard to find here. It is cluttered and it uh, does prevent, I've pulled up here a few times and it's difficult to get into the post office, so I think it's a good idea. Reorganize it, it's a great idea. It's always hard to get in. Right along the side here, be, be real good. Lake Elsinore officials say they've had problems locating the owners of some of these news racks. By the way, the new ordinance requires news racks containing adult-oriented publications to be covered on all sides. I think it's a good thing. I think for someone like myself, it makes it much easier to get in and out of the post office. And I think overall, um, those kind of, of um, newspapers, you can almost find them anywhere in the city. This is meant for people to come in really fast and get out. So. Cosmetic-wise, I think it will be a real help. This new ordinance limiting the number of news racks in front of most locations in the city would take effect coming up on the next city council meeting. That's January 22nd. Reporting from Lake Elsinore with photojournalist Chad Buchanan, Bill Lauren, News 27.